or Chofam and Aleph, we had the uh, Rabbah's opinion, which um, which Rav Huna explained was Xera. But even though you made an Erev, if the Tuchat Seres made an Erev, where they were really one, and since they won, they would have no problem really Mikra din accessing the Pasi Biros, but Rav Huna came along with Xera, that Shema Yomer Erev Moyel Lubein Apasim. They're not going to know about that uh, opening between the two chatzeros. They're not going to know they're one. They're going to think that the way they made became one is through the opening into the Pasi Biros, leading to mass confusion that Pasi Biros is a legit Shetufe Muvos type of situation that you can actually merge something through your common usage of the Pasi Biros, which would be a very uh, rabbinically fatal flaw because the Rav Hunold, you can't do that, as Rashi says, because the Apostle Bros don't fit the mold of a Mavui, and therefore Shetufe Muvos would not be applicable to that. <coughs> Rav came along and said, you're going too far. If they made an Erev, they won. If they won, you can use the Apostle Bros. That was the original halacha. In the first place with one Chatzar, everyone's happy with that halacha, everyone agrees. So uh, if they didn't make an Erev, the answer is no. But if they made an Erev, the answer is you, you could use a Apostle Bros. So that, that's where we left off. So Amalei, about eight lines down <coughs> from the top, Amalei Abayla Rava, Tani the Masailach. Um, I will bring a brisa says Abaya to Rava that supports you. So here, it's not the only time, but uh, even though they're regularly arguing, when one saw a proof to the other, certainly that would they would use it and they would bring proofs. Um, and here Abaya is bringing proof to Rava, Chaser, and, and essentially against his Rebbe, at least against the way Ravun understood his Rebbe. Um, you have one chotzer whose entrance way opens up into the area of the Pasi Biros. <coughs> that was the first, <coughs> first of the of the uh, visuals that we had yesterday. One chotzer, and the entrance way comes right into uh, within the framework of those L-shaped crops. So you're when you walk out of your chotzer, you're walking into the Pasi Biros. So, mutal tatal mitochel ben apasim. The ben uh, the pasi bros are not seen as a separate domain requiring ruvi uh, chatseros um, uh, because it's not really a chatser. It doesn't have people living there and there and there. It's like no man's land, and as such, you can just continue your rishus yachid into that rishus yachid. Or we better pass with tochan. You go the other way direction. You can go the other direction as well. You can go from the ben apasim to the chatser. Avoshtaim aser. But when you have two chatseros opened up to the Pasi Bros, bringing you to the second visual we had yesterday, um, and, and they, you want to now have two chatseros, uh, each one using the Pasi Bros, the, uh, the answer is no, you cannot. However, Medvam Rurim, and this is where the Bryce supports Rava. When do we say this? Shalyirvu. It's only if they didn't make an Erev. Avul Irvu Mutarin. But if they made an error, then it's mutter, which is exactly what Rav has said. Clearly, the Bryce seems to be telling us that there is no concern, like Rav Huna says, of mixing things up. And, uh, and therefore, there is no prohibition to use the Pasi Bros, even, if, if, even though your two Chatseros open up to it, if the two of you merge to be one. Because then you revert back to the original halach of one Chatser, essentially, through your Erev. So it seems like Rava is right and Ravuna is wrong. Can, can we indeed commit that this Bryce's refutation to Ravuna, who's only an Amira, cannot take on a Bryce? Which Tamara says not so fast. Ravuna is pretty resilient. Hasam the Hadron vi Irvan. There, there was, an, there was another aspect that went on over there, that there was another Erev, there was another merger in another place that made it apparent that indeed this, these two chateros did make an error. The whole concern was people are not going to know. People are not going to know. They're going to see uh, you using it, and they're going to say you, you, you carried based on the sheet of, of the Pasi Biros. You use the Pasi Biros as the area of, of connection, and that would be problematic. But here, in this case, where you made another, there was another place where a merger could have taken place, um, then if you have the art schools, have a very nice diagram of another opening right by the opening of the Pasi Bros, okay, of those walls, which clearly indicates that there was indeed uh, 
a merger not through the Pasim, but through the Chatzar itself, and that sends a message that I'm not going to make a mistake. Uh, Rashi seems to have... Um, well, yeah, Rashi doesn't put the open, uh, put, put a hole. Let's, let's see the Rashi, but it seems like uh, there might be another place where the the it might be clear that these two merged. If if it was at the very end of the, or maybe based on the diagram and Rashi, the very beginning of the Chutzur, that might be another place where the if there's an opening that would be indicating that they they merged there, and again, avoiding the problem of the mistake. Okay, so Irvu, where are we? Um, here, I think Ivrim Mutarin, right? So the bride says, if they made an Ariv, then it's Mutter, sounds like Rava. Okay, but uh, almost to the middle of the page, right before the diagram, but four lines before the diagram in Rashi. Ivrim Mutarin, the key on the Irvu, Derech Pesach Shabineim, the Chadru Shusahu. Okay, since they made an Ariv through the opening between them, and that becomes now one domain. So, and so since we ourselves can carry within each other, and we're like one domain, what's Allah my one domain, one chutzer coming out to use the Pasi bros? We said it was okay. So so no difference over here. It's, it's one chutzer, now it's okay to use it. And there's no concern for the Gezeri that Rav, that Rav Huna was concerned about yesterday. We clearly don't seem to hold it. To which Rav Huna came back and said, well, it's not so clear. I granted it certainly sounds nice according to Rava, but you can learn the Hadron V'irvan. What does that mean? Shifritza b'neihem pirtza gedola b'sofa, you, there was another opening between them, a big opening at the end of it. Shagolu l'kol shushus achasi, that everyone sees is one domain. Okay, uh, my eyes can't see the, the what is, uh, I can't see the letters of Rashi right at the, at the bottom of that chotzer. It says Hadi Irvan. Okay, so Rashi, you see those two letters, those tiny letters? Pirza. Yeah, he said. Okay, and I don't. Th- has a different drawing. Oh, okay. Here's his Hadi Irvan. Okay, I mean, I, I, once Yitzi told me what the words are, I can see now. It's definitely not Pirza. It's Hadi Irvan, right? We have a different drawing. You have a different drawing. Wow, yeah. amazing. Okay, same Gemara, different drawing. Um, See, do you have an opening in your, in the bottom of your drawing? No. Really. Which drawing are you talking about? We have one on the English side and one on the, on the brush. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Different yeah. Side. Okay. I, well, I, I don't think it really matters. Bottom line is, it seems like according to, according to the Gro, the, 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 the Gro learns, uh, is, has the diagram like you have in the art scroll, where the Pirza is right by the opening of the Pasi Bros. Here... Uh, Rashi seems to be saying that the Pirz is, it could be both, but the, Rashi says the Pirz is at the entrance way where everyone can see, right, at the bottom of, um, what is that? Well, how, how would you describe that diagram? Whatever, it's like, I don't know, like a, like a ping pong paddle, right? So at the bottom of the paddle, okay, then there is an opening where, where you can see the fact that the two that merged and that's why they're carrying. So bottom line is, it, the, the scenario is such that people in the Posse Bros and people outside can see that there is, there is um, a, an, a, another way for them to have um, merged together. Okay. Um, really, huh? in, in the art scroll, yeah. Okay, so here, this, this is according to Rashi and the Marshal, there's actually, in other words, so here, here's your Pasi bros, okay, this is the way it looked before this added Hader Irvan is this, there's an, another opening where everyone can see that this opening, you know, it allowed the two of them to merge, and they can all see it, right, now there's, there's an opening here within the Chatzar and an opening to the Mavui, or over Shusrabim, so people are walking by here and say, oh, I, so they're, they're not using these Pasi bros because of, the, of this of this merger. They didn't merge from here. They merged from here, and everything is now clear. Okay? I mean, if you can see it. They, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. So, okay. So they're saying, they're walking down the street, and they look in, and they're looking all the way 
They, 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 ju- they just see that there's a very... Are right. Joined. Right. And that, therefore, yeah. everyone knows that, <coughs> that the way they merge has nothing to do with the fact that they have access to the Posse Bros. They have a much, much clearer vision in the other direction. I mean, the, the difference is the Ridva is easier because he makes the break right by the Posse Bros. So people in the Posse Bros can see what's going on. Here, the way Rashi learns, it's in the back of the, of the um, Chotzer. Right, if you look at, if you count the Posse Bros as the front of the Chotzer, this being the back of the Chotzer, in the back of the Chotzer, there's another clear entrance way and, and a place where they could emerge, and everything is, um, everything is good. Okay. What? Yeah, right. So which was the art scroll. That, you have that clearly in the art scroll, and that's another way that they can see. Don't you, know, don't you see the, the, in, the fact that the walls are indented <coughs> away from the Parsi Bros, that, that line in the middle doesn't go all the way through. You see that there's access there between one Chutz and the other. Yeah, there's two places. Right. Well, right. Well, the middle one is what the original case was, and that Rav Huna said you can't carry in that case. You can't go from the Parsi Bros. If all you had is that, is that middle one between the two walls, that would have led you to have, to have a problem. But now that it's, it, there's another opening um, within that Chutz that everyone can see, that that that's why we're not concerned. That's why everything is good, and we can go right there. Okay. What, what, according, to, according to you, see the way you need those, the gap in the middle again. You know, it, it could be at that point you really don't. That that probably won't uh, won't do anything for you. Once you have, yeah, I mean, because that, that was the original case that we asked, so we, we kept that. And we just added another one. But I think if you only had that one, I think oh, sorry, that should be good enough, as well. Okay. Um, Where are the people peering in from to be able to see? You know, are they looking I mean, yeah. the street is over there with, on the other side of the well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or even if, even you're, you're in the. I mean, people are able to see it. You you know the, you you definitely have room to. Um, I mean, just a lot of hud over here, but just it's. Um, yeah, I, I don't. The lush is a little bit funny, you know that they went again. <coughs> the word hudra means that they did it again, but I don't think you actually have. Means that you had two Arabs. Means I guess it means there's another place where you know people can see that you made the Arab. Um, the hundred of the Irvan Mutaras Kush It seems that yeah, it seems that the Irvan is not going on the an Arab Khatseras, but rather that they're like mixed together, that the chatseros are mixed together. Right, so there's, an, there's another area where they mix together that people can see that that's where the merger came from. If they're mixed together, you don't need an error of chatseros? Well, yeah, no, in other words, again, let's, let's, let's keep the focus. The whole concern was that people should not say, how did these two, or if two chatseros are going to merge, the only way they can merge is there's a place where you can walk in between. Right. Now, if they don't see... They, they're, they're not going to notice that little wall in the middle there. How, how on the, if you're on the outside, how are you going to know? So, so, so to the naked eye, right, in the, original, the earlier case, like yesterday's, like yesterday's picture, the only place, right, like that picture, how are anybody going to know that there's a place to walk from one chutz to the other? They're not going to know that. So, so the only way they're going to assume, oh, they each access the posse bureaus, and that's the posse bureaus, that, that uh, the well area is the, is the area that they access to have usage between one and the other. And that you cannot do. That's what Ravuna's concern is because you can't use the Posse Bros as an entrance way of merger. And so, so and that's, and the wall in the middle, even though it is a place where they can merge and, and carry from one to the other, that middle wall, no one knows it. So there's going to be this room for a mistake. But now that we have that, the next diagram where there's, it's opening, everyone sees there's another area of merger. Right. That will, uh, will avoid the, con- the, the confusion and allow everyone to have clarity, which is exactly what we're striving for in this Gemara, and we can't swear we have it, but we hope we have it. Even though you can't see it from the side of the, of the passage rows. What? Even though you can't see it from the, from well, the side. Well, you're talking about the Ridva? No, this is... This is, this is Irashi? Irashi? Not, uh, Rashi? Rashi. Yeah, Rashi, because, but, right, but people, I guess people will know. If you see it from the other yeah. side, people will know and sp- spread the word. Well, it only ch- changes the last yeah, shot of Hada Irvan. Until Hade Irvan, it's exactly the same thing. It's just, what does Hade Irvan mean? Was the, 
is the is the mer- is the merger area right in front of the Posse Bros, where the people in Posse Bros can see it, or is the Hard Erevan in the back, uh, in, in a different area? Or I don't know. I think he brings uh, where maybe people say you need both, according to Rashi. You need the opening in the front and in the back. Apparently, some people say. You, you, you can see why the Ritva was. I mean, that's why the Ritva had to say different. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. In Rashi. Or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, and maybe to defend Rashi, they say it doesn't mean to negate the Ritva. Just means. Right, he's uh, saying the Ritva saying it's not in Rashi. Uh, right, okay, so, um, yeah, so which maybe that's where they come to the conclusion that you need, because Rashi Duffy seems to be saying there is an Erev the, at the end, right? So the diagram clearly says oh, the Erevan on, on the far end of the Chatzar. So, could be the Ritva's adding, you need, you need also access to the Pasi Baros, in which case they can see as well, and, okay, Tzarechi, a little bit, uh, there's definitely a lot of angles here, a lot of different possibilities. Okay, Okay, um, Viter. Um, yeah, where are we? Boimine. Okay, next Shiloh. I'm not sure if this is five or six, but uh, we have Baruch Shem had a lot of Shilohs. Uh, Boimine, Abaya, and Rabba. So Abaya asked Rabba, Yav Shumayim b'Shabbos Mahu. Let's say the water dried up on Shabbos. So no longer can you access the Pasi Baros because there, there are no, there's no well if there's no water. Okay, a well without water becomes a big hole in the ground. Okay, and does not allow for the allowance of the Pasi Bros. We never would allow these makeshift four cornered situations um, if there's no water in the well. So Yafshimaim Bishabas Maho, Omalay Klum Nasa Mechita El Bishulmayim. Okay, so Rabbi answered back, was it, was it ever val- a valid Mechita only because of the water that you can access? Mayim ain't Khan Mechita ain't Khan. Ain't no water. Ain't no mechitza, and therefore the answer is no. You cannot use this allowance of carrying anymore in this area because the whole basis of the allowance was the water, and the water's dried up. You don't, you can't use it. And I thought we talked about in other in other Arabim, before Shabbos, if it's up for, before Shabbos, it's good all the way through Shabbos, even if it's down. Why is it changed here? Okay, that's a good that's a good question. Um, okay. Um, Let's hold off for that. Uh, uh, the, the, okay, let's hold off because I mean I think there are there are differences, but let, let's right now I would only be speculating. So let's. It's a good point, but clearly here we're saying that it could be. The, oh, he says he asked a question. Okay, let let's just uh, read a little further. Then you'll you, you'll read fourteen for us. He says, um, let's see, uh, yeah. So kol mazem mechel v'shulim and mayim ekan mechitz ekan. Um, so boy Ravin Yof Shumai, Ravin had an additional Shaila Yof Shumayim B'Shabbos Ubo B'Shabbos what happens when it dries up on Shabbos and now the water comes on Shabbos so you had a moment in time where it's no good and now you have a moment in time on Shabbos where it is good does it come back and rejuvenate in a case where it dries up on Shabbos there is no Shaila why the boy Menei Demar because I already asked a Shiloh from uh, from Rabba about drying up. Who pushed Lee Dosser? Okay, so um, and he answered me that uh, the whole no tiki, no washi, no water, no uh, no heter, and therefore he said we can't carry. So if if the the uh, existence of water is the basis for the allowance to carry, mechitza uh, suyu b'shabbos. One second. Um, I have no shaila either when the water comes back. So what it comes out then is it's a mechitza which is made on Shabbos. Right? Because essentially what happened is that the mechitza that you had became irrelevant and, and, and uh, you know, not viable because you didn't have the water to justify the mechitzas. Now you have the water, mechitza now comes back. So what you essentially have is a mechitza that was made on Shabbos, even though they were always there, but it w- they went from being pro- a prohibited um, usage mechitza to an allowance, uh, allowable usage mechitza. So, Vitania, what do we know about mechitza that are made on Shabbos? Vitania, call mechitza asuri b'Shabbos. Any mechitza made on Shabbos, be'em mishogi, be'em amazed, be'em ba'onus, be'em brought, so no matter what the circumstances are, intentionally or unintentionally, um, willingly or not willingly, shmo mechitza. It's a valid mechitza. So the answer is, Abai's answering unequivocally, that the answer is yes. If the water comes back, you, you will be able to carry because um, the allowance 
came back. Let's catch up on the Rashi's here for a minute. Then you read 14. Um, Rashi, um, Yof Shumayim B'Shabbos. Right smack dab in the middle there. Yof Shumayim B'Shabbos. Mahu letalta bein hefsik. I'm sorry, bein apasim. Are you allowed to carry in between that cropped, uh, the cropped out area, even though there's no well, if you want to just carry other stuff inside, do you say it's Rosh Hashanah already, when Shabbos hit, and go ahead and carry? Me, I mean, on Shabbos, do you say when Shabbos came, it came, and therefore, you know, the, the, the allowance continues, like Gary was arguing, or do you say it's a little bit different here, because the heter only is because of the water, or you have shoot. Okay, and the water dried up. There is no more water. Yasser, we are called Pasi Bros. It's going, it's going to all case of Pasi Bros. So I'm not sure if 14 is any more than Rashi, but essentially what Rashi is saying is that it's a, it's a little, you know, I don't think Rashi hits the answer to, to Gary's question right between the eyes, but he does focus on the fact that this is a unique allowance, only permissive, permit, permitted based on the existence of water. No water, no allowance. Okay, let's just do the next Rashi. Um, the next couple, yeah. You klum nasas mechitza klum klum hutcher mechitza kizu el mishamayim is isn't mayim the only basis? Isn't water the only basis for the heter? So what's what's your shiloh? Um, okay, now let's um, one second. Yeah, ne- ne- so then we so if the answer was no, you cannot carry once it's dried up. The question was what happens if yoshimayim b'shabes v'chazru bo geshamim. Bobiom then it rained on that day, and, and lo and behold, look what look at what happened. Now we have rain again. We have a we have a full bar of water. My what's Allah? Mi amrina and chazru pasan leteirin. You say it comes back to its original leterishon. <coughs> comes back to its original allowance. Kizu. One second. A rishon letalta betochen. Sorry, he says to to allow you to carry. Or do you say no? Once it became musr, it became musr. So. To which Abai answered the first shayla I already asked from from Rabba and Mine de Mar Rabba Shay Rabba right he called Rabba Mar his Rebbe because he was his Rebbe okay Uba Mayim B'Shabbos Lo Kavi Boyli so if I have no shayla as well when the my, when the water comes back the mutter that that the that the answer to the shayla is absolutely yes you could carry if the water comes back. Because we have a rule, any mechitza made on Shabbos is a valid mechitza. So if indeed you, uh, if indeed you uh, you uh, have water now again, and the mechitza becomes in a sense made on Shabbos, we already have a rule that mechitza mechitza made on Shabbos are good. Does fourteen add any illumination? No, it's essentially the same as Rashi. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're happy with Rashi's answer, but you know. Is that you, the, the real, you have to go back to that case. You have to really think what the case was. In other words, if the lechi, what happens? I mean, the, the lechi. Right. In other words, even the lechi case. I think we said there, if the lechi falls down, there, the opinion says it's much because really you don't rabbinically you don't need a lechi. I mean, you really could argue the same thing. Midaraisa, these posse bros are valid even, you know, without the well. So why can't you just say it's once the head there is? It must be that this is just a, it's a more, we don't want, we're more concerned of a situation where you're going to rely on this, you know, even when there's no water. And it is like the whole fuel for the head there is dafka, the water. So, you know, I mean, you're not far off from the truth because that's the other side of the shail. The other side of the shail is you could carry because it's like any other case. Or do you say, no, that it's more connected to the water, in which case we're not going to give you that allowance. So, Rabbi, yeah. The other day when we talked about uh, perform, doing a mechitza on Shabbos, I thought you said you couldn't. Remember I asked about, could you cover up a, this opening between mm-hmm. the two? And you said no during the, on Shabbos, you can't. So, surely not if it's a you know, sort of permanent mechitza, right? You might be able to make a curtain, but yeah, so that, that's why we said Bain... Ba'one's bain barat some bain mishogi bain mamezid. Really, in other words, even though you did something wrong by making the mechitza, you shouldn't have made the mechitza. Let's say you didn't know. Let's say if a guy he forgot that it was Shabbos, he made the mechitza. So um, the answer is, you know, after the fact that it's made, you're allowed to use it. 
or maybe not. Let's see. So, to which the Gemara asks, so, so right now where we're holding, the, so we're holding that on the Shaila of the water dries up, the answer is you cannot carry. On the Shaila of the water rejuvenates and the rain comes and the bar fills up, the luck is you could carry. Really, says the Gemara, back to the Gemara, but didn't, did we not learn on this halacha, that's only true when you're coming to throw something into the bar, right? So to be machmer, that it's a valid machitza, to make it like a rishus hayochit, to obligate you if you throw something in. Okay, and that machitza therefore becomes a valid machitza. Avul taltelo, but when it comes to tiltal, when it comes to moving something uh, inside and carrying something inside of that, that we're not going to allow you to do. In other words, the allowance is only, it's not allowance, it's only a valid mechitza as it relates to the issue of nailing you for throwing something inside of that area. But to actually use it on a more lenient level to say, oh, I can carry here, it's enclosed, let me carry. No, no, no. Carrying, we say, is a different story. Letal telo. So what do you mean mechitza a mechitza that's made bein b'shog bein mezid is valid mechitza, uh, not for the leniency of carrying, and that was all shal. The whole shal was, can you carry inside the area? So to which he answered, kit murder of nachman mezid it mar. When Rav Nachman said his halacha that um, you only can carry, yeah, that you can only, you only, it's only considered mechitza to throw something in and obligate you, but not to carry. That's only going on one of the cases, the case of mezid. If you do it intentionally, then we're going to nail you to not derive benefit from that which you did wrong, and therefore you can't carry inside. But if it did b'shogeg, which is the case over here where it wasn't even an act, here the Reh HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the mechitza. By, rain, by making it rain, he made the mechitza. That's obviously not a case where anybody did anything wrong, and therefore you are certainly good to carry. Okay, um, let's see Rashi. Hazorik Meshus Ben Apasim shall be rose. Right, so the... His statement that was made and the references that when do you say it's a valid mechitza is if you throw something in from a shusarabim into the pasi bros, which halachically is uh, actually that might be viter. Yeah, well, okay. Shusarabim ben apasim shall be rose. Okay, chayiv chatis the shus yachid mayasi. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's probably viter. Okay, but but it's uh, we had the concept of zorik uh, again. The, in the Gemara that we have, basically the, the message was in Rav Nachman, I, it's only going to work to hurt you and not to help you. It's only going to work to make you high if you throw something into that area to where the Mechitza was made. The answer is that's only when you did it amazing. When you did it Peshoge, Taka, it will be valid on both ends and that's why indeed you're allowed to walk and carry in, inside the area of the, of these, of the Pasi Baros if indeed it was, it was put up the the shogeg, and therefore, to extrapolate over to our case, when it rains on Shabbos, making the mechitza a valid mechitza again, you certainly would be able to carry it on, uh, carry there on Shabbos. Okay. Next Gemara. Amr Blazar, Hazayrik, Lebein Pasi Baros. Let's say a guy decides, he's walking down Wilshire Boulevard, and what does he see? Oh, look at this. Um, I, I, an original Pasi Baros. I've got a four-cornered area uh, surrounding a well. Okay, so let me see, let me uh, see how it feels to throw a football into that area. So this guy um, did not do the uh, smart thing. He threw something, Azorik will be impossible, bros. And the word Zorik is generally used because, you know, as Rashi told us more than once, that when you go from a Shusha Yochet to a Shusha Rabbim, the general word used is throwing. As opposed to when you carry something for Amis or Shus Harabim, that's generally carrying. Okay, um, and you're, you know, you're holding on to it. Yeah, Zorik is generally used when you go from one Rishos to the other. So, Azorik Lebein Pasi Bros, you threw something from um, Rishos Ram into the Pasi Bros, Chayef. You are obligated. You just broke Shabbos, and that has a death penalty, death penalty and a carbon chatos attached to it. Pshita, well, duh. That's obvious. You wouldn't be allowed to take water out of the posse bros unless you would be considered surrounded legally. If you're surrounded legally, then you're clearly Rishos Yachid. If Rishos Yachid, obviously if you're on Wilshire Boulevard, you throw something into the area, of course you're going to be chayv. Well, what's the half a minute you're not chayv? Well, Tzrich David came posse bros, Rishos Rav. 
The answer is, it, it wasn't a real Pasi Bros. You made, you made a Pasi Bros in Rishus Rabim without the well. You said, you know, I want to, I want to recont- uh, re- you know, reconstitute a Pasi Bros and see what it looks like within Wilshire Boulevard. So you made it without the well, and now you throw inside that area. Uh, the halacha in that area, in that halach, in that case is that you're chayev uh, chatas and you you broke shabbos. Okay, one more time. Let's read. David came pasi bros. Bishus Ram, you made a similar type of structure as a pasi bros without the well. V'zorko tocha chayev, and you threw it inside. You're chayev. Well, Gemara says I don't see how you advance anything. Hanami pshita. This too is obvious. He loved the ba'alma mechitzi. If it wouldn't be a valid mechitzi midaraisa. Which is really this? This says it explicitly. We have been sort of, you know, circling this issue the whole time. I mean, is this considered a valid wall? Are these considered valid walls? Me deraisa, or they? Or the the rabbis made it up to somehow create a leniency? Well, obviously they couldn't make it up to allow you to carry that. You, those kind of leniencies you can't do. So, so clearly here the Gemara is saying explicitly these are valid walls. Me deraisa. We don't allow them to be used in any other place, but me deraisa. These are, are really considered valid mechitzas. So right. So of course it's poshut that it's rishus yachid because if it wasn't rishus yachid when you didn't have a, a well, then it couldn't be rishus yachid when you had a well. So granted, the rabbis didn't want it, but it certainly it still is midaraisa rishus yachid. Which Gemara says lo trichad af the his a chiddush af agav the kaboke be rabim that it's considered rishus hayachid. Even though you made this well in Wilshire Boulevard, and there are people in Wilshire Boulevard walking through the area, okay, not the well, you made the Pasi Bros, and people are walking through. So maybe you'd argue when do Pasi Bros have a dinner with Shusiyacha when there isn't a constant multitude of people uh, f- flowing through the area? But if you have people flowing through the area, wouldn't they break the wall? Umay Kamash, from what's a Chiddish? The Layasi Rabbim Vatli Mechitsasa. That the rabbim do not come and nullify the mechitza. That's uh, a chiddush. He says, um, right? Because I might think that you can't have a, real walls when everybody's walking through and parading through the area. He says, um, okay, I, I, I hear you. That's a, that's a nice chiddush. I get that. But the only trouble is, Hamar Vazah Chodazim, already told us that chiddush once before. Right, so uh, Reb Lozzi here is waking up and clapping the beam is saying, if you throw something into Pasi Bros, Yechayiv, well, duh, if I already know from another area, from another place, from Reb Lozzi, that it's considered, <coughs> I don't need to re- uh, repeat shear. I already had that shear once before. So, Amr Reb Lozzi, Chad Zimna, the Taner of Yudah, the Taner, the Taner, because we have a mission, it says, Reb Lozzi, and Moise Derech, Shus Ram, that if Rabbi Yudah learned in a mission, if I have the multitude cutting through the Rishus ha, Rishus ha Yachid, then you have to, in order to keep it as, as a Rishus Yachid, you have to divert the people away from this area. If you want to keep something enclosed, you have to keep it enclosed. If you've got a bunch of hundreds of thousands of people walking through this every single day, that's going to break the Mechitza. And you therefore have to divert the people. Okay, v'chom ain't a Okay, and the chum say, you don't have to, because the, the multitudes don't break the mechitza. Okay, so you see some achogs, Reb Yudah and Chamim, and Reb Yochan and Reb Loza, Dami Tavayu, Kanad Yachak Kochosh HaMechitzos. Right? So here is where the chacham are telling you the power of mechitza, that mechitza is so powerful, that even though you have a multitude cr- uh, smashing through, it does not, it doesn't matter. It's still valid. So do, you, you already have Reb Lozer on record paskening like the Chachamim that the multitudes do not break a mechitza. So why do I need another, another statement? And our answer is, If I just had this last case that we just quoted Reb Lozer, he might be saying, this is where they make their statement, but I don't necessarily hold of it. Who says that's Allah is like that? Kamash Malan, Kanu Sfirulei. Therefore, the Chiddush is that this is where they state it, and now I'm telling you that Loch is like, like that as well. By paskining, by telling you if you throw it into the Pasi Biros, that indeed you chayiv skilo, you chayiv achatos, I'm telling you that indeed the Loch is like the Chachamim, which I would not have known from the, uh, from the other uh, case. 
I let's just get to the two dots. Vlei uh, Vlei boy Well, then leave out the second. Leave out the second one. If I just had the first one saying that Yechayev, that would be Rabbi Lazar definitively telling us that that's Salacha, that the the multitudes do not break the mechitza. So Rabbi says, "Ain't You're right. Chodem Chal Chaver Titmar. This last statement of of uh, Rebbe, that we just quoted was really not stated by him. He stated it halacha in the early case, like we learned at the beginning of this uh, Gemara. That you throw something into the Pasi Baral Shichayiv. But once this issue came up with Rabbi Yehuda and the Chachamim, that's where the Tamidim came along and said, based on what Rabbi Yehuda said, this is the definitive statement where, Rebbe, where the Chachamim are making their, their um, position clear. And indeed, yes, my, our Rebbe, Rabbi Yehuda, held this way. So it's really he made only one statement and the other one was uh, derived from this. I'll go we'll do the Rashi's tomorrow, Shkoyach.